So when Stevie Nichol and I were previewing this game, mm -hmm. Tranmere against Manchester United, we, we kind of said it was one of these, Man United can't win. Because if they win by a goal to nil, then, well, they've only beaten Tranmere 1-0. If they win by a lot, well, it was expected. But at least it'll boost their confidence. Right, and, and that it did. And saying that, I think Manchester United won, in, so in, in, in quotation marks, uh, I'll say, in, after this one. And for a number of reasons. You look at Tranmere, and listen, it, it was... You just wondered, if we try to disregard the fact that they, they played Watford just a few days before on that heavy pitch, but for Manchester United, coming into Tranmere, heavy pitch, mm -hmm. it, it, it was a bog of a pitch. That serves as a fantastic equaliser. You had this sense of, uh, uh, about Manchester United's inconsistency. It's a concern. You wonder about... And I was listening to the radio commentary before this game, and the commentators were saying on there that just looking at the body language of many of Manchester United's players in the, in the pre-game warm-up, and it's, it's always a little bit troublesome to take too much from that, but they felt that their body language was a little bit negative, which had me thinking, is, is this squad really playing for Ole Gunnar Solskjaer? Given all the speculation and criticism that he's come from, from everybody in the media, including us, at, at ESPN FC, and you just wondered if this was a giant killing in the making. Again, because of the poor pitch, you just had to wonder. And then Tranmere started well. And then all, all of a sudden, Maguire produces Oof. that. And listen, you can question Tranmere tactically, how, how deep they sat and how often they allowed Maguire room to run into. That's their decision. But when Maguire produces that and breaks any kind of resolve from Tranmere, from there, it was only ever going to be one winner. And to Manchester United's credit, from there, they absolutely took the game yeah. by the scruff of the neck. You have Dallas on the, on, on the score sheet. You've got Lingard scoring. Phil Jones. Uh, 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 Phil Jones. And then there's a tussle around the penalty. And Maguire steps in as, mm -hmm. as captain and, uh, and asserts uh, his own authority in that situation. When, listen, we all remember, well, it was a long time ago, but earlier in the season and all the discussion around who should take penalties and uh, Pogba and, and Rashford and that, that was an absolute disaster. So it was good to see somebody step in in the way that Maguire did and assert a, a level of authority on that situation. With Manchester United, if they continue to be inconsistent, if the pressure continues on Ole Gunnar Solskjaer and if they don't qualify mm -hmm. for Europe through the league but they win the FA Cup, what kind of seasons it been for them? Well, it's it's a step in the right direction, and and I, again, it's, it's difficult to say how you package that because for a club like Manchester United, simply winning the FA Cup is hardly ever enough. But for this Manchester United, lifting silverware, I think, is more than anybody expected at the beginning of the season. It's probably more than anybody expected three weeks ago. Mm -hmm. But as of right now, you're still in the hat, you give yourself a, an opportunity to, to go deep in this competition. There's a lot of football to be played yet. Um, you, you take that, especially given the situation, you find yourselves in the League Cup against your city rivals. You don't see them recovering that. But Solskjaer needs some good news. And as much as we speculated about it, as much as, as Manchester United say they have faith in him, as much as we in the media continue to criticize and question whether he's the right person for the job, a convincing win, albeit against lower league opposition, on a very bad pitch, given the goals that you scored, yeah. given your goal scorers, you take that. You might not learn much from a 6-0 win at Tranmere, but my goodness, that certainly helped boost the confidence. <sighs> Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.